Hi, I'm Little Critter. This is Spider. This is Grasshopper. We're going camping with my dad. If you want to go camping with me and my dad and play with some really fun stuff, click the play button. Thank you, Frog. If you want me to read you the story, click the read button. Thank you, Mouse. If you want to look at a page, click the page button. Thank you, Spider. If you want to see the movie of our camping trip, click the movie button. Thank you, Grasshopper. It's time to go, little critter. <laughs> We're all packed and ready to go. Where's little critter? We went camping, just me and my dad. Did you pack your toothbrush? Uh-huh. <laughs> dad drove the car because I'm too little. Don't forget to put on your seatbelt, Dad. I want to go too. I want to go too. Oh my, it's a big day for Little Critter. You naughty cat. Ready to go. Hooray! We're going to have the best camping trip ever. <laughs> Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, little critter. Don't worry, Mom. I'll take good care of Dad. <laughs> I 
I picked the campsite, but someone was already living there, so I gave it back. Ooh, this is a really good campsite. Ah! Dad, it's no good. This campsite is no good. Wow, it's a little critter. That's why it's important to check the campsite carefully to make sure nobody else is living there. Yeah, Dad. Hello? Thanks for the ride, monsieur. Let's play Leaf Bunny! <laughs> Remember, little critter, the forest is the animal's home, and we're just their guests. You're right, Dad. Let's go find a new campsite together. We found another campsite nearby. My dad was tired, so I pitched the tent. Are you sure you don't need some help, little critter? Nope. I can do it all by myself. Dad! Hey, Dad! Come on in! Help! It's dark in here! <coughs> Hi, Dad. Good start on the tent, little critter. Yes, sirree! What did one tree say to the other tree? What? Please don't leave me. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful... 
beautiful day. Oh, what a beautiful day. How many setups can you do, Dad? <sighs> Olay! Hi, Dad. I'll finish putting up the tent. Why don't you go look for some firewood and... I know, Dad. And don't forget to keep the campsite in sight, right? Right. We made a campfire. I found the wood and my dad lit the fire. Dad, I got some more firewood. Good job, little critter. Golly, Dad, that sure is a pretty bird. Yeah, that's some pretty bird, all right. Be careful, Dad. Hmm, <laughs> mighty strong wind today. Watch out! You don't want to start a forest fire. Yeah, Dad. Anybody know what time it is? I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Can we go 
go canoeing now, Dad? Please? Canoeing it is. But first, we have to put out the fire. I wanted to take my dad for a ride in our canoe, but I launched it too hard. Don't launch the canoe without me, little critter. Well, we still got the oar, Dad. Hmm. I want to read you my poem. They told me I must walk the plank one dark and stormy day, but they forgot the magic word, so I just went away. Thank you. Oh well, I guess we're not going canoeing today. Guess not. What does it say? It says, brush your teeth, love, mom. <laughs> like, can you do my back? <laughs> Like, can you do my back? <laughs> what floor? Penthouse, please. I know. Maybe we should go fishing. Hmm. Maybe we should. We went fishing instead. When are the fish gonna start biting? <sighs> I don't think there are any fish in this water. Whoa! Ooh.
Hang on, Dad. Don't let him get away. I think we got him. I'm a big scary dragonfly. Ooh. That was a close. We got him, Dad. We got him. My dad took a snapshot of the fish we caught. Pretty big fish, huh, Dad? Yes, siree. I think that may be the biggest fish I've ever seen. Now smile and say, Big Tuna! Big Tuna! Take a picture of me! Take a picture of me! told you to stay home! I told you to stay home! Peanuts! Popcorn! Hot dogs! Peanuts, please. <laughs> Boy, I sure am hungry. Me too. Then I cooked dinner for me and my dad. <laughs> hey, that's my fish! Give me back my fish! We had eggs. Do you get your hair cut at the barber shop? Knock knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? 
Let us out, it's dark in here! If you must peck on the tree, please do it quietly. Smoking! If you must peck on the tree, Please, do it quietly. Sure wish we had that fish, Dad. After dinner, I told my dad a ghost story. Boy, did he get scared. When the moon is high and the stars twinkle down And you hear something loud, stomping on the ground Better hide real quick so you won't be found His big paws coming tonight Mama, what are they doing? Oh, they're just critters from the city who came here to camp. Oh, come on now. You should be in bed. I know, Mama. Good night, Mama. Look into my eyes. You are getting very, very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Big Paw sure sounds like one scary dude. Yeah, and you know where Big Paw lives? Where? Right here in these woods. What do you think Big Pa likes to eat? He likes to eat you! <laughs> dad! I gave my dad a big hug. That made him feel better. Oh no! Big Pa! Yikes!
Put your hands up. Just another dancing chipmunk. All right, 10-4, over now. Let's go. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sure glad you're here with me, little critter. Because I know you're not afraid of anything. I know, Dad. I didn't mean to scare you, Dad. Anyway, there's no such thing as Big Paw, right? Right. Guess it's about time for some shut-eye, partner. Okie dokie, Dad. Then we went to bed. I stood up with my dad and let him read a story to me. Nice PJs, little critter. Yeah, Mom got them special for our trip. How about a bedtime story? Good idea, Dad. Abracadabra! Critters? Good night, Grasshopper. <sighs> Good night, Spider. Wee Willy Winky run through the town, upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown. Rapping at the windows, crying through the locks. Are the critters in their beds? For now, it's eight o'clock. <sighs> Hey, who turned out the lights? These boots were made for walking. I love you.
Dad. Are you getting sleepy? No, my lungs just need some oxygen. Peekaboo! The king, true to his word, gave the little mouse a big reward and made him the official royal weather mouse. The king, true to his word, gave the little mouse a big reward and made him the official royal weather mouse. Dad, the story's not over yet. Oh, yeah, right. Did you boys brush your teeth? Uh-oh. And everyone in the kingdom lived happily ever after. Good night, little critter. <sighs> Good night, Dad. We slept in our tent all night long, just me and my dad. Dad, Dad. What? What? Is it Big Paw? No, there's no such thing as Big Paw. You are snoring. Oh. Goodbye, goodbye. When you go, I think I'll cry. Dad! Dad! You're gonna wake up all the animals in the forest!
Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, everybody. Thanks for letting me and my dad stay at your home. Good night, little critter. Good night, little critter. Good night, little critter. Good night, little critter. Good night. Good night. Wasn't that a fun camping trip? Bye again. Hope to see you soon. Oops, hi, I'm a little critter. If you would like to see the whole movie Dad and I saw on our camping trip, click the red button on the video machine. Right there. Anyway, I gotta feed the dog. See you later. Little Critter, Little Critter, it's almost time to go. Little Critter, are you ready? Where are you? Oh, my goodness. Mom, I can't find my boots. It's no wonder you can't find your boots. This room is a mess. I know she took them. I know she did. Little Sister wouldn't take your hiking boots. Did you look under your bed? I think I should go camping with you. I mean, I'm four years old now, and I'm not afraid of the dark like Little Critter is. Hmm, now all we have to do is get the canoe on top of the car, and we're set to go. When did you get hiking boots, little sister? Well, I kind of found them. Where exactly did you find them? Well, um, I don't really remember. Hmm, they look an awful lot like Little Critter's hiking boots. Well, they kind of are. Young lady, you march right upstairs and give those boots back to your brother. But, Dad... No buts. Go upstairs and give those boots to your brother. It's not fair. He gets to go camping. I want to go camping. I know I would be a better camper than him. It's just not fair. Now, little critter, let's think hard about this. When was the last time you wore your boots? Yesterday. Okay. Now, when you took them off, where did you put them? I don't know. Well, where were you when you took them off? Were you sitting on your bed? I don't know. I can't remember. Looking for these? Stay, Mom, I told you she had them. How many times have you been told not to take your brother's things? It's not fair. I want to go camping, too. When you're a little older, little sister, you'll get to go camping with Dad and Little Critter. That's okay. I don't want to go. Big Paw's there. Big Paw? Yeah, Big Paw. He's the biggest, scariest, meanest monster.
creature in the whole world, and he only comes out at night to eat boys just like you. There's no such thing as Big Paul. It's so, it's not, it's so, it's not, it's so, it's not. That's enough, both of you. Little sister, why don't you go play in your room? I never wanted to go camping anyway. Little Critter found his boots, and he's almost ready. What? Ow! Ow! Well, we're off. Bye, Mom. Have a good time, dear. Five minutes closer than I told you five minutes ago, little critter. Hmm, I know. We can sing a song. Oh, good idea, little critter. How about my old favorite? Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Dad, Dad, stop. I have a better song. Ninety-nine bottles of pop on the wall. Ninety-nine bottles of pop. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety-eight bottles of pop on the wall. Ninety-eight bottles of pop on the wall. Ninety-eight bottles of pop. We're not lost. Oh, good, a map. Now, careful with that map, little critter. It's the only one we have. Don't worry, Dad. I know how to use a map. We did it in geography. Ah! Ah! I can't see! I, I can't see! Ah! Ah! I can't see anything! <laughs> Critter, the first thing we have to do is find a place to camp. That's easy. I'll do it. Now wait. Do you remember the rules of the forest? Oh, yeah. No squashing, no grabbing. This is the animal's home and we're their guests. That's right. This is perfect. Dad, I found the perfect camp. Did you check the spot carefully? Now remember, we don't want to disturb any of the animals. Hello, Froggy. Did you hear me, little critter? Are you checking the spot very, very carefully? Yep, it looks really good. Over here, Dad, you're really gonna love it. Dead ball. What do you mean it's no good? It's no good, Dad. Believe me. That's why I told you it's very important to check the campsite carefully, little critter. Now, this time we'll do it together. Good idea, Dad. Dad, I have a great idea. You rest and I'll pitch the tent. I need to... A hammer, just what I need. Oh, and an axe. No axe. That's for chopping wood, not for putting up the tent. Oh, right. First, we gotta unroll it. Do you need some help, little critter? No, I can do it myself. Dad, hey, Dad! Look, I did it! It looks great from in here. Come on in, man! Ah! What happened? Oh, Dad! 
God help, it's dark in here. Ah! Hi, Dad. <laughs> Good start, little critter. Why don't you collect some wood for the campfire while I finish putting up the tent? Okay, Dad. Now, don't go too far. Remember to keep the campsite in sight. Well, a little bug sits on a little blade of grass and the grass grows in the ground. And the ground we know is nothing but dirt, but it makes the world go round. Well, a little frog sits in a little pond somewhere on a lily pad. And now that I've met you all today, whoa, I'm feeling really glad. Oh, a little fish swims in a little stream. Things are very wet place. I may not know your name at all, but I certainly know your face. The world goes round day by day, and here we all are together. I'm stuck with you, and you're stuck with me. We're really in stormy weather. So turn your left and give a smile. Turn right and say hello, hello, and we will all be such better friends. Critter, did you find any firewood? Oops. Coming, Dad, I'm coming. <laughs> You're just in time, little critter. Those sticks look perfect. Wow, the tent looks great. You're a really good camper, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> Dad, can we go fishing in the canoe? Please! <laughs> okay, but you've got to wear your life vest. Now, little critter, don't launch the canoe huh? without me. I'm on my way. Little critter, I mean it. Launching a canoe is serious business, and I'll be there in a second. You don't need any help? Nope, Dad. I'm doing really well. <laughs> Little critter, if you need help, you have to say so. It's called the buddy system. I'm your buddy, you're my buddy. If I need help, you help me. And if you need help, I help you. Help. Well, I finally got your pole restrung. Now take that pile of string and put it in your fishing bag. Just like you got tangled, you don't want any of the animals to get tangled. Remember, this is their home and we're only their guests. I know that, Dad. Okay, little critter, your fishing pole is ready to go. Okay, Dad. This will be great. I decided to catch a shark. I doubt you'll find one this far upstream. Dad, when are the sharks going to start biting? Little critter, one of the first rules of fishing is to be patient. They're gonna start biting now, Dad. Just be patient. I'm gonna catch the big one this time. I can feel it in my bones. I really don't think there's any fish in this water. Dad, maybe we should call it a day. Dad, I really don't think there's any fish here. I think we should go.
the goblin, the goblin, get me, Dad! <laughs> Pretty big fish, would it? <laughs> yes, sirree, I think that may be the biggest fish I've ever seen. See, Dad, you just have to be patient. That's the way you catch the big ones. Right you are, little critter. You know, Dad, I bet if I went fishing every week, I could catch enough fish so we could never have to go to the store again. We could have fish every single day. Wouldn't that be great, Dad? I'm starved. Can't wait. <laughs> hey, give me back my fish. Who invited you to dinner? Go catch your own fish. Bring me back my fish. That's my fish. Well, it is. Make sure you don't get any eggshells in the bowl, little critter. Okay, Dad. <laughs> sure wish we had that fish, Dad. When the moon is high and the stars sprinkle down And you hear something loud Stomping on the ground Better hide real quick so you won't be found His big paw's coming tonight Big paw's coming and never says please Make you gonna shiver, get weak in the knees He's got bad breath and he even has fleas Big paw's coming tonight Right, little critter. Thanks, Dad. And the king, true to his word, gave the little mouse a big reward and made him the official royal weather mouse. And they lived happily ever after. Good night, little critter. Good night, Dad. to sleep. It's nothing. I told you that it's Big Paul. Well, Big Paul or no Big Paul, let's go find out. <laughs> find out? out what it is. I know what it is. It's Big Paul. Well, let's just see. The 
It's just a bunny. Little critter, isn't this your fishing line? And didn't I tell you to put it away? I forgot. There you go, little guy. Now, do you see why it's so important to be careful when you're in the woods? Remember, we're the guests. Good night, little critter. Good night, Dad. You know, Dad, I've been thinking. Maybe we should bring little sister with us next time. I can teach you the rules of the forest. And since we know there's no such thing as Big Paw, she wouldn't be scared. Aloha! Sunday, Sunday, race fan! I'd rather see the monster truck Sunday, Sunday!
Are you sure you want to quit? Okay. Are you sure you want to quit? Hope you had fun camping with me and my dad. Bye.